my dear friends you know it is said that a transistor is a device in which two pn junction towers are connected back to back to what first of all what we mean by two towers which are connected back to back like this is one diode okay this is p this is n then second arm again having p n junction diode there are two diodes p n junction diode but when it is said that they are connected back to back it is like this p n and again n p now these two diodes are back to back what this arrangement you know it is this arrangement is like this is p this one is n this one is p okay do you think that it becomes a transistor but it doesn't mean that two discrete towers when connected to part to part can act as a transistor it now act they now act like a transistor you read somewhere that a transistor is a, is like the two towers connected to part to part this statement is so only for understanding of the principle and the function of the transistor now let's coming that why it cannot this arrangement cannot act like a transistor you know in case of transistor this one is emitter this one is called base this one is called collector it may be like p and n and p now whole are majority carried here electron majority here again whole majority here now this junction the first junction it is made forward biased how connecting p with positive with respect to n now this collector is made reverse biased how this is p connecting with negative positive negative positive connecting collector connecting p to negative with respect to p is then it becomes a reverse biased when a p n junction forward bias it behaves like a low resistance when over the p n junction when it is reverse biased it act like a high resistance okay now the current is flowing emitter to collector from low resistance to high resistance when the emitter carriers they are started from here and they are flowing to collector reaching to collector through the base now in the base region because the majority carrier are the holes in emitter when they reach in the base some of them get neutralized by the electrons which are present in the base and rest of the holes they reach to collector but what we want we want a very less recombination here recombination rate here okay we want whatever the emitter current almost the same should be the collector current and it it can happen only if here the topping is very very thin so we are having very thin top base region but here you notice this is p and n p there are four layers one layer you know like this 
like this this is p n n p okay two diodes connecting back to back there are four layers 1 2 3 4 and they are equally doped moreover this region is quite wider base region is wider and you know but we want a very lightly topped base region secondly you know size wise the collector is always big in size as compared to ammeter ammeter size is big as compared to base now you may put a question why the collector is big in size it is because it is because dissipation of heat here when the you know the holes when they reach to the collector region then they them they may happen the recombination combination of holes and electrons that's why some heat may produced here and if the heat is produced it must be dissipated otherwise your transistor can get transistor may get damaged so that's why the collector size is always made uh big okay now but in case here there is not nothing such thing they are all equal in size so that's why two diodes connecting uh, you know back to back can never act like a transistor do you know how many type of transistors or the transistor part numbers you know transistor is specified by a number they are available in the electronic industries thousands of thousands but transistor you know one particular transistor is a transistor it cannot be replaced by any other part number and you know there are different type of transistors like radio they are used in radio frequency circuits power circuits amplifier circuits pre amplifier circuits very high frequency circuits switching circuits and so many in every circuits used different type of transistor further this particular type of transistors divided in thousands of the different kinds also the diodes are available in thousands of different parts no parts number the diode of this number diode is of this number you go to market and ask that you to buy a transistor then a uh, shopkeeper will ask you tell me a uh, diode number so what is the different in parts number okay actually it is the topping which is different in different types of transistors and diodes remember so it's okay only for understanding two diodes connecting back to back it is a transistor but it does it no act like a transistor okay thank you